Wisp, Tangled Dreams, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. Alright, so just right at the start here with the tuning, I'm going to be arranging this in a drop D tuning, uh, just to try to keep it, you know, as simple and accessible as I can here. Um, it's quite likely that they're using, like, a baritone, or just a super dropped uh, down to, like, a B type deal, but... Um, like I said, just for our purposes, I'm going to keep it drop D. I think it works pretty well in this tuning. I'm not really having to sacrifice a whole lot. Um, but yep, drop D, so we got the D, A, D, G, B, E. And we'll start with this intro. And uh, starts here at the 8s on the low D, A here. And we just pick between them. And I do this voicing here um, where we got the... 8 low D, 8 A, and then I come off to the 5 on the uh, A string here for that D note, and we just give that a little bend release a couple times. And if this is too much of an issue for you, uh, you could just do the 8s and then come up and just do the little bend and release at the 12 of the D. I kind of like to try to have notes ringing over the top of each other, so I like to use this voicing, but you could easily go and just substitute this uh, 12 on the low D for any fives on the A there, if you want to. Um, I'm fine doing it like this, and I can, like I said, I like the notes kind of over the top of each other. So we'll do this, where we go 8D at A, 8D to that 5A. Right, and then we do 8 low D, 8A, right to that 5A bend. 8 low D, 8A, to 5A. So we went. And now we're going to drop to uh, where we can take use of this drop D here, uh, a low E flat uh, power chord shape here. So just be first fret on the low D and the A, go between those, back up to the low D. Come down for that sus on the three of the D. Hit it, kind of hesitate slightly, back to the first on the low D. And then we want this two on the G. Hit that and let it ring for a beat or so. Then we'll pick back through the one low D, three on the middle D, and the one A. All right, and essentially we repeat the whole thing again, all the way up until we drop down to the ones and we go one, 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 right? And then on the second time through, instead of like kind of picking through it and holding some notes, we just kind of hit the full chord there where we do the one low D, one A, the three on the middle D, and that two on the G. And when we do that, we give that two on the G a little bender and release a couple times. Let that ring for a little bit. And then we do this building into, uh, you know, everybody coming in where we just kind of like chug on those ones, the low D and the A here. And then we get into the uh, big overdriven section there, which I guess you could say this is like the verse pattern. And um, there's definitely two or more guitars, probably, you know, a bunch of layered, but there's one guitar that's kind of doing some, you know, garnishing ornamental higher stuff over the top of the chords. Uh, for the most part, we want this B flat, big power chord. So we get that here with the eights on the DAD. <laughs> All right, but like I said, there's another guitar kind of doing some high, higher voice stuff, so uh, I like to try to include it. And basically, it's it's for what I'm hearing. It's like some tens on the G and the B there, which will make this like a major seven vibe. All right, so uh, and we're just shuffle strumming through that like a strum, hold it a minute or a beat or so, then a couple more strum, a couple more strum, that type of deal. Uh, go through that a couple times. And then we're gonna drop down to our E flat here at the ones on the low D and A. And you can throw in this three on the middle D for that E flat sus two. And we give it a strum, a couple more, and then we'll wanna throw in this, that two on the G and give it a little bend and release as we're strumming. Just playing around with it like that. Just bounce between those two chords uh, that way through the verse, and that'll get us into the chorus, which, uh, same chords, just kind of a different dynamic. 
subtle differences there where we zoom back up to our B flat at the eights here. And here it's more kind of like we're doing like a one, two, three. And when we hit that third, we can include some higher stuff like uh, just some extra octaves where we do like the 10 G and the 11 B. Something like that. Drop down to the ones at our E flat there. Same kind of feel, one, two, three. But with this, we're doing our, you know, kind of just the power chords, the ones on the DAD. And then we'll throw in the three middle D and two on the G. All right, back up to the eights for that same type of uh, deal. All right, but the second time through, when we drop down to our E flat, instead of doing like that, that sus with the, the two on the G and all that, just hit the power chords, the ones on the DAD and throw in uh, open G under it. So it's just like a big major E flat there. So it's kind of a subtle difference alternating there at the ends. So we started with. Okay, so it kind of switches up that E flat every other time. Um, and then the next section I'll call it like the chorus end. Um, interesting, it kind of comes in first after the next verse, but it's a weird little compositional thing. But uh, we'll drop down to a C power chord, so just 3A, 5 under the D and G there. And with this, just kind of strum, 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 strum. Come off to the open low D power chord, open D, A, D there. Just kind of for one little beat there. Then we land back at our E flat at the ones, and you can throw in the open G under it, just to make it a big major. With this, it's a kind of a shuffling through, just finishing it out. And then the final time through, just hit it, that E flat at the ones, hit that and just let it ring. 